Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you. I am making this video not to actually reply to this comment, even though I do get a lot of comments like this, um, people telling me to remove my tattoos, and I got a lot of people telling me you don't need to remove the tattoos, and you know, a lot of reverts probably have this problem, is we get so many Muslims telling us, oh, you know, since you're a Muslim now, you can't do this, and you can't do this, and you gotta stop that, and it is overwhelming, um, and you gotta understand, as a new Muslim, you know, as your love for Allah grows, then the commandments of Allah, like wearing hijab and, you know, fasting and whatnot, they become easier. And as a, as a revert, these things gradually happen, okay? So I just want, I just want a lot of you to know, you know, I'm sure you all know people that will come in and comment stuff like this. Um, and it's, like I said, it's overwhelming. So I just wanted to read this uh, hadith. Um, and I found it in Bukhari 6125. And, but in my book, it doesn't have the number. Um, it says that Anas radiallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, make things easy in parentheses for people. Make things easy. Do not make things hard and difficult for them. Give them good tidings and do not create hatred. And there's a note here. And the note says, encourage people by mentioning glad tidings and virtues for doing good deeds. And because of their sins, do not frighten them so much that they despair the mercy of Allah and thus are dragged away from Dean. <laughs> so I think this, I came across this last night and subhanAllah, I got another comment telling me, you know, what, what I need to do, how I need to do things. And, um, I'm not going to remove my tattoos. Um, you know, as Muslims, we know that when you accept Islam and you are guided to the truth, Allah wipes away all your sins and they actually become good deeds. So for you, um, maybe you didn't know this. This is why you're telling me to remove my tattoos. So hopefully this is just, uh, some knowledge for, for new Muslims and born Muslims to just, you know, you know, give us a break, man. We're trying our best. And like I said, when you become Muslim, when your love for Allah grows, uh, these things, you know, they become easier for us. It's not, what you doing, Duke? Look, it's Tuki, my little blind baby. Little blind baby, you can't see. You can't see. Anyway. I know. Bismillah. Anyways, assalamu alaikum. Have a great day.